Hi, welcome to the show. There is no argument that NDI has made our lives easier. The fact that we can get high quality images over our local IP network was something of a boon. We're all at it. And one of the first companies to offer a wide range of solutions from PTZ cameras to little converter boxes that allowed us to convert our baseband video signals to IP signals across a LAN was BirdDog. And they've been releasing products left, right and centre just recently. Yeah, so we'd like to welcome back to the show again, Eamon Drew, all the way from Australia. Hi, Eamon. G'day. How are you doing? So, G'day. Good. First G'day of Melbourne, all, Australia. let's cover the recent release of NDI 5. What stage is it at? It was quite an exciting release. Um, and, and how yeah. is it going to benefit you and, and, and your customers? Yeah. Uh, in a really big way, actually. We're so excited about NDI 5. It's... um. You know, apart from the launch of NDI in the first place, we think it might be the biggest launch they've had, maybe even bigger. Um, I guess you can't call it the biggest because the first yeah. one has to be the biggest. But um, yeah, that's no, a huge, a huge <laughs> step forward for um, uh, NDI and, and uh, in, in turn for Birdog customers. So um, yeah, we're really excited about it. The way we see it, there's kind of three parts from our side to the uh, NDI 5's uh, launch and, and story. The first is, um, you know, NDI 5 support. Everyone's asking, will our product support NDI 5? Well, actually, they already do. Mm. So all of our products um, are already NDI 5 compatible. You can load up NDI 5 free tools and all of our converters and cameras will work seamlessly with NDI 5 as it is. Um, the second wow. part of the NDI 5 story from our side is kind of the software additions. And this is, I think, where NDI 5 is really um, a very ambitious and a huge release. There's tools in there like the Final Cut Pro plugin. There's the uh, advanced audio tools. There's NDI Remote and there's NDI Bridge. Mm. Um, all of these are really exciting new tools which will work with BirdDog products immediately. Um, for example, if you have an NDI Remote uh, session, you can decode that with one of our decoders already. Um, the, the, other, the other part is NDI right. Bridge, which is um, testing really well. It's in beta um, and it's testing really well with our products. And as soon as it comes out of beta, we'll announce support for that as well. Uh, the third part of NDI 5 is the NDI 5 libraries. Now, this is uh, something that we will add to our hardware over time, and this will give our customers things like reliable UDP and various other things. That will be a free update for all of our products, um, and uh, yeah, it'll come uh, as soon as that's actually announced, and, uh, uh, and we're working on that at the moment. So, yeah, so that's sort of the three parts we see to the um, to the the, the yeah, NDI 5 story. Mm. So I think we, uh, as we touched on when we did the intro, Eamon, you've been releasing many new products. I think the base point being the Bird Dog Play, which is your 4K NDI player. Give us a quick rundown of um, what people can expect coming from Bird Dog right now. Yeah, so we've released, um, we're probably about halfway through our hardware releases for this year, but it's um, it's been a few already, and software as well. Um, so Play is a, a really small, low-cost uh, NDI uh, 5 and NDI 4.5, uh, 4.6 receiver. And it allows you to then just receive mm -hmm. NDI across the network and then play it out onto a, a screen via HDMI. Uh, super low cost and it's got CEC support as well. Um, and it's USB powered. So yeah, it's and it's yeah, it's, it's just a really low cost device to um, to get 4K NDI video onto screens. And the other thing that we, that was, well, I think is quite exciting because NDI was pretty much designed for, for, a, for a closed network, for a local network. You've, you've announced this, uh, the Cloud Connect. How does that work? Yeah, so we've been working on Cloud Connect behind the scenes for quite a long time, obviously. Um, it's in beta now, and we've got people testing it, and it works quite well. Um, Connect is kind of our way of joining up a few different workflows. So uh, it basically allows you to get uh, source to screen, whether that's a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a set of apps, essentially, for... Uh, for iOS, Android, yeah. Apple TV, Android TV. And it allows you to get, you know, from source to screen in as low as two frames latency from anywhere in the world. Um, we've been testing it from uh, here internally. And, we've, you know, we're watching, um, you know, Bird Dog PDZ NDI cameras go up into the cloud and then back down again on an iPad in like two frames latency, which is kind of blowing us away. Um, and it also connects with Bird Dog Play. So you can use Bird Dog Play then as a, a cloud connect receiver um, and receive video anywhere in the world, um, similar to like an Apple TV, um, yeah, onto your big screen TV. So yeah, it's, we're sort of starting to join up all these dots with uh, Cloud Connect. It's, um, it's a pretty powerful application. There's sort of two, um, off the bat, there's sort of two workflows we see with it. One is remote editing um, and remote, um, the ability for a producer, a director, 
and um, the editor to collaborate yeah, in near real time from anywhere in the world. Because uh, with NDI plugins, you can output the Avid timeline, uh, the Adobe timeline, and now the Final Cut Pro timeline, and you can have the producer, say, sitting at home in, in, in the comfort of their lounge room with a bird dog play and be receiving um, the editor's output and also, you know, using NDI scan converter, the actual timeline itself, so they can see them scrubbing on the timeline. And, you know, that's something that they can send anywhere yeah. in the world in two frames of latency. Super important in these pandemic times so that people can um, have that sort of over the shoulder collaboration um, producer to editor, um, which is really, really powerful. Um, so we're excited about that. The second part of Cloud Connect we see as a workflow is what we've been sort of advertising Bird Dog Cloud all along, um, remote production, PDC control, uh, all that sort of thing. One of the things we haven't announced is we've actually got PDZ control working on an iPad and it's a really tactile experience. So you can be sitting there with an oh, iPad, cool. control the PDZ from, from anywhere in the world, super low latency. Um, it's actually pretty incredible and we can't wait to demonstrate that um, further. So there's a little bit of a scoop for you and your viewers. Um, we haven't really announced yeah, that one. Cool. Um, no, so no, that's, yeah, no, that's no. Cloud Connect. Um, it, it'll be shipping hopefully. Um, it's in beta now and it's testing quite well. It should be shipping before the end of Q3, hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. And a quick one, just to, to, yeah. on, on top of that, security-wise, is it, it it is secure? You have that has been considered. Yeah, it, there's a few ways that security works. the 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 main way it does work is that it is actually a point to point connection. So it's not going um, through the cloud or anything like that. Oh, it's okay. just creating a connection point between the source and the receiver, and it can go source to many receivers. Um, but it's it's a, because it's a point to point connection. There's security in that anyway. And we're working on some other things, um, SSOC and things like that, to, to for logins and yeah, things cool. for larger organisations. Yeah. So more to come on that. That's um, sort of something we're, that's in development now. Yeah. Now there's a nice yeah. little product that uh, may well transform those wanting to distribute videos to screens. The SDM module. Tell us um, how that fits in. Yeah. So we announced the SDM module. It's a partnership product with um, NEC. Uh, who make commercial displays. Uh, we announced it at um, ISC 2020, which was 18 months ago, but it seems like about 10 years ago. Um, and we've been in development since. We would have been shipping a lot earlier, but it um, it's actually really hard to, to manage. Yeah, it does, right? Like, yeah, a long time ago. Um, but it's actually really hard to manufacture um, during the pandemic because we can't travel to the factories um, to do QA and things like that. So just, you know, there's a lot of back and forward with prototype boards and things. Um, but yeah, it's shipping at the end of this month um, or early August. Uh, it's in production now, and that's a. It's basically a card, or it's it's one of our converters that sort of goes inside the actual display itself. So you can run one cable to the back of an NEC display, and you get uh, full NDI um, decode. Um, and it, we've also got a module yeah. that can do encode as well. So you can plug the uh, HDMI into the back of it, and it will then encode into uh, NDI as well. So it'll do decoding and distribution of the same signal or and you can also encode another signal as well uh, with the optional update you can also do Dante so then it, that allows for workflows like um, for example yeah you've got uh, NDI coming into the screen and um, you can split the audio out of the NDI stream and then into the um, the Dante speaker system that may be in the auditorium or the theater mm. uh, or the lecture hall and um, yeah so then that can go out that way um, or you can do, go the other way as well you can have an NDI uh, uh, sorry Dante, Dante input and then um, match it up to the NDI and send it somewhere else. Cool. So yeah, that's that's going to be super popular. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's been a, a labour of love getting that one to the market for sure. And again, is that available now or yeah, that's shipping good. soon? Yeah, shipping at the end of this month. It's in manufacturing right now. We've got a few um, one one last set of QA. Um, I think the boards are on their way uh, via FedEx or whatever to Australia at the moment. We expect to tick that off, and then we'll we'll be able to ship within the next couple of weeks. Yeah, that sounds like it's going to be a big product. So finally, last but by no means least, you've got this nice little box camera you've just announced with USB, tally, etc. PF120, is it? Tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, I've got one. I've got one sitting just over there. I should have grabbed it to, to hold up. But um, yeah, the PF120 shipping, ah. uh, that's, yeah, it's um, it's been really popular. Uh, we sold out of the first couple of shipments. And um, yeah, it's the sort of first full NDI box camera, to my knowledge. Um, and yeah, it's got USB, full NDI, HDMI out the back. Um, it's PoE powered, so you can just run one cable to it and use NDI and, and have control over the zoom as well. And um, it's also got a filter ring on the front. We've been testing some wow. wide angle lenses and we'll have some videos posted about those uh, soon as well. So yeah, it's, it's a really nice little camera and the feedback's been great so far. It's, um, 
you know, feature complete and that's, yeah, it's just running perfectly. So, yeah. Brilliant. That's a great update. Thank you very much, Eamon. Do check out all the bird dog solutions at bird-dog.tv. Thanks to Media Proxy for their support of Kit Plus TV and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for having me, guys.